Hey guys, this is Coach KP and today I'm going to talk to you about this concept that I first heard from Reese Thomas um, at one of my, one of my classes um, in the second year of the Life Mastery Training Program that, I, uh, that I've been going through. And, you know, it, when I heard it the first time, it really blew my mind. And what Reese said was, an adult is a concept and not a human being, right? So he said... An adult is not a human being, but a concept. And, you know, the, the uh, just behind him speaking of that is that there is so much social conditioning that we go through um, as, as growing up and as um, kind of given us, given this mold of what an adult should look like, right? Or what an adult is. Uh, past a certain age, um, 16, 17, 18, 20, 22, depending on what culture, what, you know, um, background you're, you're, you're in. Um, adults are this prescription um, template uh, that everybody should fit into. So what that does to us is, you know, everybody is sort of figuring life out as they go along. Two years ago, people that were thinking in two years I'm going to get here didn't get here, for example, because the pandemic happened. And it's an extreme example, but just because you plan something, just because you want to be fitting into this adult template that gets provided to us by the society, doesn't mean we're going to fit into that because life happens and life is non-linear the events in life aren't predictable life in itself is is a very um um zig zigzag um type of a type of a journey right as we go go in life um nothing's really uh, happen nothing really happens the way you want it to happen so when we prescribe to this idea of what we should look like in our adult journey, there, there happens a lot of shutting down of emotions and making ourselves look good, look like we fit into that template so well that we're excelling at it uh, at a rapid pace, right? That's what we all kind of tend to try to do, especially in your late 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. We're all trying to fit into this adult, uh, adult template and some of what it may look like is excel in school, Make a lot of money, um, have a have a successful family, a nice car, a, a, a Instagram worthy house, right? All of that, right? Uh, and what that does is it it then sets us up to be enslaved to whatever that is that is going to give us this life. So for some of us, it may look like. A, a nine to five. Some of, for some of us, it may look like entrepreneurship. Some of us, it may look like spending all of your time working or studying or, you know, being consumed by something. And, you know, in a way, if that works for people, and in some, it works for some people, um, but it doesn't work for everyone. And for those that it works for, this is not really going to make much sense if it's been working in your life but once things start to not make sense for you or stop working for you or something happens in life where uh, your linear trajectory is now um, is now shaken up by a series of events in life you got to sit there and, and think about what happened right and it's so easy to beat ourselves up over not having a prescription adult life. And when Reese says an adult is a concept, not a human being, that is so apt and so true to me in, in, in my experience that I wanted to make this video to even, even if you don't get anything out of this video, I want you to think about that statement, an adult, is not a human being. An adult is a concept. Um, you know, um, there's a lot that we can talk about in, in, in that in that sense. Um, in um, talking about 
what other social conditioning there is that we have to go through as a part of being an adult, but that's not even really needed if you really think about that statement in and of itself. Like uh, an adult is not a human being. An adult is a concept, right? An adult is a concept. If we can get that through to ourselves, a lot of struggles that we go through as a part of trying to fit into this adult mold and a lot of struggle and, and a lot of self uh, flagellation that happens as we go along will cease. Like we will be able to see that we are fine being who we are and everybody's really figuring things out as they go. Um, and, and even the people that are super, super in control, right? Even these people at some point will have to come to an acknowledgement that, hey, at the end of the day, I didn't do it all. It, 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 it kind of just happened, right? Um, no matter how even the most successful people um, didn't do it all. And, and it, it kind of happened to them as well. And I'm not saying we should stop doing what's best for us. Um, even, you know, even becoming, you know, even fitting into that template isn't, you know, we shouldn't be throw, looking to throw the baby out with the bathwater. And, um, and, and that's not what this is. But what I'm saying is, if we have been beating ourselves up over the lack of, and I dropped the penny here, um, with, um, if we've been beating ourselves up for the lack of success that has been prescribed to us, maybe we need to rethink that. Maybe we need to rethink our lives. Okay, this is Coach KP. Peace.